y'all. Um, I'm back today to do my first kind of what have I been melting wax empties type video. This is the first that I've ever done, so bear with me if it's not very thorough or um, if I forget certain things. I did have a nasty cold about, I think I've been over it for about a week now, uh, but it was about five, four or five days there that I didn't melt at all because even after I was starting to feel better, my you know, my chest, my sinuses, all that, I didn't feel very good and it was really bothering my allergies and all that stuff. So I didn't melt for a while. So there isn't as much as I would like there to be. This is also a mashup of about the week after and the week prior. So some of it's a little bit older and I can't remember exactly, but I will do my best. So I wanna go ahead and get started with some of the wax that I've been melting that aren't empties yet. I don't want to exclude them because I have some really good ones here. Um, I don't want this to just be a wax empties because if that's the case, as you'll see with some of the, the things I'm going to talk about here, it'll be a while before I get to talk about them and I don't want to do that. So first up, I'll start with what I melted most recently and this that was White Zombie from Vintage Chic Scents. I melted this last night. I didn't want something too strong downstairs. I have two warmers down there. I have a 30 watt candle air warmer in my kitchen and I have a 24 watt hot plate from Michael's in my living room. And my kitchen and living room are open. You know, you walk downstairs, you basically just have the living room and the kitchen. It's a very open concept. You know, you do have a small bathroom downstairs, the laundry room, and then going out towards the garage. But that's mostly what it is. So typically I'll put in a scent in both warmers so it'll be really warm but I, I wasn't really interested in that so I wanted something soft so I only popped one coin of this in my living room warmer and in retrospect I should have done it in my candelier I was just nervous that that would be too hot for my vintage chic scents um, I will talk about my next one that I melted the night before that which I felt like it was too hot but um, in retrospect, I wish I'd put it in my candelier because my ceiling fan is in my living room and I felt like that really pushed some of the scent out. Even though I did smell it, it wasn't as strong as I had hoped it would be. I can't not have my ceiling fan on. I am heat intolerant. I know I've said this in some of the groups and you may have seen that. I am totally heat intolerant. If I don't have air blowing on me, I feel like I'm melting. And right now, I'm looking at my gorgeous fan that I want to turn on, but it's so loud. Um, I'll just kind of move you over. That's my, my little fan for my makeup slash wax room, and I love it. It's great, but it's really loud, so when I do videos in here, I can't really put it on. So I feel like I'm sweating. I'm, I feel like I'm having a hot flash, so that's me. It's so weird, but uh, that's why I really like to put a lot of, you know, two, two different scents downstairs so they can mingle and they can be really kind of, you know, loud and fragrance throw. Like, they could just be super beast smelling downstairs because once I turn my ceiling fan on it's not going to be as strong but um anyway it could have also been that the scent is a light uh, you know a lighter scent this is mac apple whipped cream and birthday cake I believe so that you know birthday cake and whipped cream aren't the heaviest scents although mac apple usually is either way this is a beautiful blend this used to be my favorite from vintage chic you know, and honestly, it still might be. I don't know if I've ever found another absolute favorite, but White Zombie, either way, is really, really good. Um, so I did melt that. That was last night. Now, the night prior, I let my husband pick what he wanted to melt, and he chose Tea Time Couture Event, which is another really good one from Vintage Chic Scents. This is like a blueberry tea bakery blend. And he put that, or I put that one in my... Mm, my candle air warmer and then I popped in a chunk of Fred and Wilma in my Michaels warmer because I knew that one wasn't going to be as strong and I wanted the blueberry in the tea time to really come out this one was really good it threw really well I barely picked up the Fred and Wilma I think that was because of my ceiling fan but the tea time couture event was really really loud it was really good I really love this blend I think I have another three pack or Maybe it's a jumbo rose that I'm kind of hoarding to. I was hoarding on this, and when he picked it, my heart kind of fluttered a little. I was like, oh no. But what's the point in having wax if you don't plan on melting it? So I used that to help convince me to go ahead and melt some, and I'm glad that I did. 
Uh, last night in my bedroom, my husband chose Blue Sugar Shaving Cream from Sassy Girl Aroma. It threw really good. He put in one of these chunks, just a whole chunk, and I had it on for a while. Honestly, it was even larger than this one. And it was filling up the room pretty good, and I said, you know what, this is just too much. So I went ahead and turned it off. Honestly, I didn't melt that much, and it was throwing really good. I really like shaving cream scents, and I really liked this one. I think I requested this one, and she made it, and I liked it, but now I don't think I do. It just, ugh, it almost makes me want to gag. I think I'm going to hold on to it for a little while and see if maybe my nose changes again. I don't know what it is, but honestly, I am I was hating that. It threw really great, you know, nothing on the wax itself, but I'm just not into blue sugar right now, and that is very heavy on the blue sugar. The, oh, right now downstairs I'm melting, where is it? I know one of them, these are my empties. I'm melting my last chunk in mango, pomegranate, sorbet, strawberry, raspberry, guava from Sassy Girl. And I'm also melting some scoops in pomegranate mandarin from Sassy Girl. This is in my 24 watt hot plate and this is in my 30 watt candelier. Um, it is throwing really, really well. I'm upstairs right now filming this, but I know once I go back downstairs, it's going to smell really strong, really good. Uh, I melted white walkers in my bedroom, not yesterday, the day before, I believe. I was talking to another waxy friend, and she was just totally raving about the scent, so I wanted to try it for myself, and I did throw it in there. It's really good. You get just like a really creamy mint scent. That vanilla Bean Noel is very strong. And on cold sniff, I'm not a huge fan of the vanilla Bean Noel in this blend. But when it's warmed, it's just so relaxing. It's not that mint that's like, wow, you're smelling mint. It's like this just soothing, encompassing mint. Very good for bedtime. It would be good too if you were sick because it's, it's very comforting. But very good for bedtime too. Another mint blend I've been melting, excuse me, is Middle Earth, and this one is really good if you have a headache. I get lots of headaches, so whenever I do, I try to throw in something with mint, and this is my favorite so far. The dirt isn't as strong as I would like it to be for me. I get mostly that fresh mint leaf, and it does have like a deeper base note, which I'm assuming is the dirt, but I don't get that soil freshness that I was hoping that I would. And that's fine, though. This still really does help me, and obviously that's what I want it for. I melted Full House with... What did I blend that with? Um, with Bad Anon from Blank Label. And I had half of this. This was like a square chunk. I had half of this left, and this is a lemon poppy seed waffle cone, iced cotton candy frosting with wild berry mousse. I put this in my, mm, that's what it was. I put this in my Michael's warmer, and I put this in my candle air. Um, and this is cookie jar, sweet cream, cotton candy, marshmallows. I really wanted this to be like a super bakery goodness, and all I smelled was Full House. That's it. I didn't smell bad and on at all. Even when I walked over to that warmer, and I know I've had, I heard other people say that they have issues with throw from blank label. And I've really noticed 100% whenever I put it in my Candelaire 30 watt warmer, amazing. When I put it in my 24 watt Michaels, sometimes it's okay, but a lot of times I don't smell it really at all. So I've learned my lesson. I'm never going to put it in my Michaels warmer again. I will stick with my Glade warmer, or my, um, I'm sorry, Candelaire warmer. I love Blank Label. They're, she's in my top three for sure. She has amazing blends. Um, it's fun. I like the way she decorates. I just, I love everything about her wax. It kind of stinks that I can't get it to throw really in anything else, but that's fine. I have, you know, an expensive candelier warmer for a reason, so I'm going to use it. Um, so I kind of wish I had thrown this in my good warmer just because it was a great blend. If I see it again, I will repurchase it and then just make sure I do it in the good warmer, but... Um, it, I was kind of bummed that I couldn't smell it. Full House, this is my first time melting it. I'm in love. I will be repurchasing this for sure. I still have five cubes, so I don't need it anytime soon. But, oh my goodness, that is going to be my favorite for going for one of those nice, comforting bakery blends. I usually, like I said, I'll blend two scents together. So if I have one scent, I'm like, wow, this would be really good if it was extra, you know, 
bakery on crack, I would throw in a cube of Full House. Next time, I'm not putting Full House in my candle air because it's just too much. <laughs> All right, next, and this, I posted in this in Wax Chat, this blend that I was melting. This is Daily Planet from Super Tarts, Starbucks Coffee, French Baguette, and Brown Sugar. And I blended that with Hakuna Matata from Blank Label, which is banana puree with sweet vanilla cake, caramel out of the oven, giant cup of coffee, and fresh sugar cane. Oh my god. I put this in my candelier. It threw beautifully. You did get that banana. Um, I don't think the coffee was as strong as I had wanted it to be, but that banana was so good. And this is the only banana scent I've ever melted. I smelled other banana scents on cold and that it was disgusting. But this is amazing. If you have a chance to grab this or if you do have it, give it a whirl. It is it's great. And then I blended it with this because I wanted more coffee, but I also wanted it to be more of a bakery scent. In retrospect, I don't think that French baguette was really good with it. It smelled really good, but this was just really strong. This is a strong scent on its own, so I think next time when I'm feeling like this, I'll just blend it with something softer to accent this. These were two really strong scents, so when you put them together, it was just like, whoa, you know, just like blows you away, and it was just a little too much, but still really good. All right, so now just pure empties left. This is what I have. Um, I just want to get this one out of the way. This was a soy tart that I picked up from Valhalla Soap Company uh, about three months ago. I was trying some of their products, and I said, what the hell, let's try some wax tarts. I think this is the only one I've melted, honestly. Um, I know I have another one hanging around here somewhere, but they're all so natural and um, earthy scents, just... Not what I really want in my wax. I'm sure some people like that, and that's great. I just really don't. This one was called Eliminati. It's like a playoff of Illuminati, but it was a lemon blend. Um, it it smelled decent on cold throw, and I put it in my 24-watt Michaels, and it threw really well. Honestly, I didn't think it would, but the scent made me want to puke. I just, I couldn't handle it. There was something in it that was just disgusting. I don't know if it was how I felt at the time or in... If I was always going to feel that way about the scent, but I turned it off and dumped it, ew. I would never do that again. I like some of Valhalla Soaps Company's products. Um, I have their coffee sh uh, sugar scrub. I have a whipped soap that I like to use for shaving. And, the, you know, they're natural products. They work really well. But for their wax tarts, for the fragrances that they have, I don't think I'll repurchasing. And that's just a personal choice. If you like them, then that's awesome. I'm so glad, but I just really don't. So next, I melted Sour Bill from Blank Label, which is Extreme Sour Watermelon Candies and Tart Green Apple Lollipops. This was also a like a square chunk, and this was so good. And both times that I melted that, I melted it with some of this Watermelon Punch from Sassy Girl Aroma. This was a four-pack of Grubby Tarts. On its own, I didn't care for this so much, but when you put these two together, it was watermelon fruit heaven. And I really love the sourness that was in the sour bill. And you, you did get a little bit of that green apple, but it was just so complex and fruity and strong for a, a watermelon scent. I plan on repurchasing both of these. Like, I have to take a picture and write this down somewhere or something, or else I know I'll forget at, at least about this scent. But... I, I love this. These are super good as a favorite for them being together. I don't think I've ever tried two scents together that I loved as much as those two. Next, I had melted my sample of President Coin from Super Tarts, which is hibiscus flower, blueberry cotton candy, cucumber, and a kai berry. I talked about this briefly um, when I did my first Super Tarts ready to ship order because I ordered two clamshells in it. I had melted this a few days before I received it after I knew I had more coming, and it was so beautiful. I melted it in my bedroom. You got a, a little bit of a floral, but you definitely got that fruitiness and like that berry from the acai, which kind of gave it like a tropical type note. And I remember this was only a small cube. It threw really well, but I really feel like I need to melt more of it before I can definitely say something more about it. I do like it, but you know, when you only melt something once and a little bit of it, you're, you know, you say, oh, I like this, or you have an impression, but it's only an impression. So I really can't wait to break into one of my clamshells of this and, and play around with it. Honestly, I would love to melt this with another blueberry scent or maybe another cucumber scent, something like that. But I really do like it. 
Uh, next I have Alaskan Wilderness from Avis Country Cupboard. This was the last of Avis that I had. I don't dislike Avis, but I found so many other great vendors, honestly, so I just don't really repurchase. I left the group. Um, I left a bunch of groups, honestly, because I just had too many, and I was always like pressured to order when I would see that restock info and scents that were coming out, and I knew I needed to cool it down a little bit. This was a two-pack snowflake um, set. They were very cute. They were about, you know, this big for each one. I melted this in the upstairs warmer. It's another 24-watt Michaels. My daughter was, uh, this is when she was sick at the beginning. She said she couldn't smell it, but I did. It wasn't as strong as I would have liked. I noticed with this scent, it was about 15 or so minutes after it had already melted down before you started smelling it. I should also note I had my ceiling fan going on out there, which definitely could have affected the throw. Um, maybe, you know, maybe it would have been super strong if I hadn't had the fan on. But either way, it was a really good, like, piney, minty scent, and I probably would repurchase this because I really do like those scents. But as it comes to, you know, actually ordering from Ava's, um, I don't think I'm going to do that anytime soon just because I have a lot to get through and a lot of other vendors that I really love. Next from Blank Label is Lemonade You Look, which is, uh, let's see, lemonade with raspberries and sugary cotton candy. This was from my first order I ever had from her a few months back. You can see that the pour date was in February, late February. This one was so strong. I don't know why I really ordered this. I don't care for lemonade scents. This wasn't bad, but the lemonade was very strong. It was hitching the face. And when I put this in my candle air, I mean, the whole house, honestly, the whole house, you could smell this. You could be upstairs near the top of the staircase and still smell this. I can't remember if I blended this with something or not, like the first few times when I melted it, which I probably did. I didn't hate it. I would repurchase it if I liked lemonade, but I don't. So if you do, this one is really good. Next from Blank Label is I Can Fix It. This was from her Wreck-It Ralph sampler. This was another one of those square, you know, square shaped. Actually, I have one here. I can just kind of show you what they look like. Oh, where is it? There we go. This is one I've been saving. Um, Calhoun. You can see the square shape. They're about this size. So honestly, well, no, I would say two melts. I would never throw in that by itself. All right. So this was I Can Fix It. I did this in two separate two separate times. I can't remember the first time I melted it. Um, you can see it was poured at the end of March. I had it for a while after that. But I did melt it a couple days ago in my upstairs warmer. And I could smell it. I smelled like a popcorn note. A creamy bakery popcorn note. Um, it was good, but I don't know. I don't think I would repurchase this. I'm not a huge fan of caramel, but I know on cold sniff it was pretty good. I don't know. I and, you know, and now reading it, I don't see that it says popcorn, but it had like a popcorn esque sense to it, and maybe that's the caramel. Maybe it was more like a caramel corn scent, I should say, not just popcorn. Um, it is what it is. Not my favorite. It wasn't bad though. Next is, man, I got a lot of blank label. This was the White Rabbit Shave, um, which is Mac Apple and Shave Cream. This was a small sample from Blank Label. Not my favorite shaving cream scent. I know I touched on this when I did my Alice in Wonderland sampler because it did come in a scent shot. I think I, yeah, I have that in a de-stash right now because I know it's just not my favorite. I have a lot of shaving cream scents that I use. I'm kind of falling out of love with it, even though I do like them. So I'm hoping I'm just, you know, stay away from them a little bit and then I want to melt them, melt them again. But the MAC Apple and Shave Cream was not really a favorite of mine. And I already know if I keep stuff around that's not my favorite, I'm just not going to melt it. So I usually don't do that. Next, I had a little, probably about a quarter of a square chunk and Picnic in the Park Tickle My Fancy from L3 Waxy Wonders. I don't remember what this is. I know it was very fruity. I just kind of melted it because I had a little bit hanging around and I had it in my special box. This is actually the box I usually keep with melts that I need to, that I want to go ahead and finish off. So that's what this was. I can't really remember specifics about this. I don't think it was crazy strong, but I think I did get a little bit of throw from it. I may have mixed it with something. I'm not sure. L3, I've noticed, when I ordered from her towards the end of last year, I think obviously this came in, in that 
order that I made. Those scents through. I ordered again at the end of uh, the beginning of this year, and I couldn't get any of those to throw. So I know I ended up destashing most of them, hoping somebody else had better luck. Maybe it was just me, because I know L3. A lot of people really like her stuff, and I did, but. I don't think I'm going to try her again just because I really feel like I wasted my time and my money. Nothing against her. I really like Jennifer, who is the owner, and I really used to like her stuff when I would get throw, but honestly, if you don't get throw from a wax, you're just not going to purchase it, and I don't really see the point in gambling my money on something that may or may not work out for me when I already know three vendors off the top of my head who are my favorites, you know, who are really great that I, I don't feel like I'm risking my money with. So to say. So next, these might all be, yeah, these are all Super Tarts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and touch on Get Out of the Water from Super Tarts. This is legit my favorite wax blend of all time so far, or as of right now, because I know preferences change. And this is the Strawberry Jam and Jaws, which Jaws is sea salt, mm, fresh air, seagrass, sliced plum, and fresh pear. I'm trying to read it. You can see it's cut off. Um, so freaking good, you guys. It's like a super sweet, oceany blend is the best way I could describe it. And when I first got into vendor wax, I used to always say, oh, I love like ocean blends or, you know, fresh blends, water blends, because when I would buy wax from like Walmart, that's the kind of stuff I would go for. I didn't go for florals or bakery or anything like that. That's the kind of stuff I would go for. So when I got into vendor wax, I kind of realized... They all kind of smell the same, but I don't really like them, honestly. So I tried this Jaws. I wasn't thinking I was going to love it or really like it or anything. And it just, it literally blew me out of the water. <laughs> Pun intended. I love this stuff. This one in particular is my favorite. I have a bunch of Jaws blends in my Super Tarts drawer. But this one is my favorite. I think I have another clamshell, but honestly, I need, if I see more hanging around, I'm going to pick it up because it's just so freaking good. It throws beautifully. I haven't blended it with anything else because I don't want to. I want to smell that scent alone. It's so good. So the next I have just four scent shots. Um, first is Mia. This is a uh, blueberry tort, almond marzipan, and um, sugar cookie brulee, I believe. This one's really good. I bought it in a clamshell as well because I melted half of this and I was like, oh my goodness, I need this. I melted this other half probably, I think I melted this about two or so weeks ago. It was so good. I don't remember if I blended it with something. I probably did. Um, I just really love it. I don't think I loved it as much on warm as I did on cold, but I still really like it. And I'm super into bakery stuff lately. So I'm really glad I picked up that clamshell. And I think next time I'll just do like a, a cube of this with maybe another blueberry scent or another really good bakery scent to help accent it. Next, I have Ezra from Super Tarts, and this is this is like a musky spa scent. I don't remember the notes. All I know is I threw in half of this sucker in my candelier and turned it off because it gave me a headache, even though it smelled so good. It smells like a really sexy spa man scent. So I know I touched on this in my one of my last videos. I'm going to melt my clamshell in bathrooms um, since I know it would be really good in there. And you don't hang out in the bathroom very long, or at least I don't. I don't go in there, you know, and sit down and watch a TV program or cook dinner, things like that. I think I could handle it if I'm walking into the bathroom for a minute or two, washing my hands, getting out. So I think that would be a good option for this. It's still a really great scent. Second to last here is Hannah from Super Tarts. This is, oh man... I think it's like some type of citrus, maybe like a lush dupe. I think it was a thousand or ten thousand kisses or something like that with apricot glaze something or some other. I'm not sure. This was so good. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be so good. I ordered a clamshell in it. I have that order that should be shipping out this week from Super Tarts um, with more of this because it was just amazing. I melted this in my warmers, my Michaels warmer upstairs here. I had the fan on. And it was still throwing beautifully. Um, just a really good blend. And then lastly, oh, Mr. Freeze. And this is Eucalyptus Spearmint. Or I'm sorry, Eucalyptus Peppermint. This is not my favorite. I know I hear so many people raving about it. And there's just something I don't really like about it. I want to say it's the Eucalyptus. 
I, I don't know. I usually like these notes. I just didn't like it in this scent shot. So maybe Brandy uses one of the fragrance oils that I don't like from a company or I'm not sure. But I would not repurchase this. Alright, so that is my first empties what I've been melting type video. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing another one. I think next time I'm going to do it sooner so I can remember a little bit more, maybe even write a little bit down about it because I don't have the best memory. So maybe in the next week or so, I'll, I'm will i going to go ahead and go through a little bit of my wax and pull out some things that I really want to melt or some items that I really want to go ahead and melt down. I know I have some, a little bit hanging around of pomegranate cotton candy shaving cream. I have a cube of that. Green apple, pomegranate, cotton candy. I have just one cube of that. I have toe socks and sweats from L3. I still have a good amount of this, but this is the only L3 in chunks that I have left, and I want to just go ahead and get rid of it. Um, Johanna from VCS. This is so good, but, you know, it's just kind of ugly. Hanging. I just want to get rid of it. I have half of, what is it, Winchell and Duncan. And that's what about half of it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. So when I say that I cut those cubes in half, I mean, that's still a pretty good size to melt at once. You can see. It's not the biggest, but it's a decent size. So this one doesn't smell that great. I might blend this with something stronger. I, I feel like if I didn't, you wouldn't smell much. I have this Strawberry Passion Summer Sorbet Cotton Denny Frosting. I have two big chunks in. Honestly, that's probably two or three melts. I could probably stretch that into four if I'm blending. But those are the scents that I have just right now in this little box that I want to go ahead and run through. I know I have more in my collection I need to go ahead and pull and put in this box as well. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of doing that sometimes because I feel like it's like telling myself what to do. Honestly, I know that sounds so dumb, but I'll, you know, I'll go through and say, hmm, what should I melt? Dick through? And I'm like, no, you know, I don't want to melt any of that stuff. I'm so weird. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope to be back soon. Bye-bye.